the chemistry is both simple and complex, but the basic idea is, is that by absorbing carbon from the atmosphere, and the oceans absorb about half, about half of the carbon, so all that CO2 that we've been putting out, we can thank the oceans for about cleaning about half of it, uh, much more than, for example, the Amazon. Um, but that's having an effect on the ocean. It's changing the way it's balanced, and it's becoming a little more acidic. The problem is, is that a great number of our organisms, corals are probably the most famous, but also these little tiny plankton, little microscopic creatures, a millimeter or even less, um, have shells have body structures made out of the same thing as the corals, these calcium structures, and they will literally melt. If the oceans continue to acidify, they will start to melt or not properly grow, um, not develop in a correct way. And these things drive the engine of life. They are driving the oceans everywhere. And if they stop working, then we're no longer bringing in that carbon, and we can no longer absorb it into their shells, then we have a big problem. First of all, we're not getting that carbon absorption that we were getting before. It's going to stay out there. And secondly, this basic element of the food chain, this, these creatures that are possibly the most numerous of, you know, everywhere, they will stop to do what they do. And I can't imagine, I just cannot as a scientist imagine what effect that would have on the ocean, but it frightens me a lot.